Hey there, once again, YouTube. So, just real quick, first off, we did see the first Steamboat Geyser eruption of 2020. You can see it right here. Occurred at about, I'm gonna say, 246 UTC, 245 UTC, around there, somewhere around there. Um, occurred just a little bit ago. Right now is 7.55 p.m. Pacific Time, January 9, 2020. If you want to see the seismogram and spectrogram stream from YNM and YNR at Norris of this Steamboat Geyser eruption, the first of 2020, then please wait to the end of the video. But I'm going to talk about something just real quick first. Um, here we are at my website. We're going to go to my most recent monthly update. Since my website gets very low traffic compared to my YouTube channel, I mean, each one of my YouTube videos gets, what, about 2,000 views or so, depending on what I talk about, sometimes more, sometimes less. But my website only gets about, what, 30 people? 30 people a week or so, and that's it. Which is strange, you know, because I swear a lot more people out there are interested in what I'm talking about. Maybe they don't know about my website or something like that, but I'd still, it's way low. 30 people compared to 2,000 people that view my videos. I mean, that's very low. So sometimes when I do updates, I like to put them in a video. But I will leave a link to this update for December 2019 in the description box below. So I'm only going to go through this very quickly, very briefly. If you want to see more information about this stuff, just go to my monthly update here. Again, this is for December 2019. Yellowstone Caldera, December 2019 was another mediocre month, somewhat, for seismicity at Yellowstone. Except for a few magnitude threes and some very short and energetic swarming, this month was boring. Regardless, we did see some interesting earthquakes, including a few magnitude threes, which were the largest to strike this region in a few years. Only 93 earthquakes were located during December. A few other small events probably were not reported, but seismicity was generally low for this month. Now, the largest earthquake this month was magnitude 3.5 at 17 kilometers in depth on December 15, 2019 at 1232 UTC. It struck right here, right along the western border of Yellowstone National Park, about 25 kilometers west-southwest of Old Faithful Geyser. It was the largest to strike Yellowstone since the magnitude 3.6 at Maple Creek on July 18, 2017. This 3.5 was reportedly felt by five people, which is quite an achievement since there are hardly any people, if any at all, in this area during this time of year. You can see the plots for the 3.5 is right there from the closest seismic station. Now, surprisingly, there was also a 3.4 on this same day. It was the largest earthquake for December 2019 to strike within the caldera itself, and is likely the largest earthquake to strike the caldera itself in many years. It struck at 4 kilometers in depth just 10 hours prior to the event shown above. The epicenter was very close to Marion Lake. Actually, one person reported feeling this, which is quite the achievement again. Here are the plots of this event right here. Now, Steamboat Geyser, the largest active geyser in the world, which resides at Norris, remained active through the month of December 2019. It erupted a total of three times during December. The last eruption of the month, and for all of 2019, was the 48th eruption, which occurred at 4.34 UTC, December 27, 2019, which would be 9.34 p.m. Mountain Time, December 26, 2019. The grand total of eruptions during the 2018-2019 period is 80 eruptions. That is a lot. Plots here are shown of the last eruption of 2019 and we know that steamboat erupted for the first time in 2020 just a little bit ago and you'll see the stream of that in just a second long valley caldera and again remember i leave links to the usgs earthquake map from their catalog for each month for each location during the month of december 2019 there were 373 earthquakes for long valley that's the lowest count since june 2019 Seismicity continues to decline every month now since the intense swarming seen in September, quick here to see information about that, has ended. However, the decline can only go on for so long in another period of unrest similar to that seen in September is almost certain. The largest for December 2019 was a 3.6 at 9.9 .9 kilometers in depth on December 26, 2019, which occurred along the southern edge of Long Valley Caldera. Over 161 people reported feeling this event, and it was originally labeled a 4.0. Newberry Caldera actually saw two, two earthquakes this month, with the largest being a 0 0.5 quote-unquote other event, which is very strange, but it typically looks like a normal earthquake with some Dominant lower frequencies, but still a normal high-frequency earthquake in my opinion. Mount Rainier. 
Now, Mount Rainier is still within normal background levels, but this volcano saw its highest monthly count in over six months. There were 35 earthquakes located for December 2019. Only a few were scattered around the perimeter, and most events this month actually occurred under the edifice of the volcano itself. This is not a major increase in anyone's standard, but it is interesting nonetheless. The largest for December was a 1.4 at 1.5 kilometers in depth. On December 19, 2019, at 2102 UTC, directly below the volcano itself. Now, Mount St. Helens was a very, it was very calm in December 2019 for Mount St. Helens, guys. It only saw 11 earthquakes during this month, and this was likely one of the calmest months of 2019 for this volcano. The largest earthquake for Mount St. Helens was a 0.8 at 10 kilometers in depth on December 10, 2019. It struck about 5 miles southwest of the summit. Mount Hood. During December 2019, Mount Hood experienced only three earthquakes. Seismicity has returned to background levels since the large spike in seismicity in July 2018. Click here for information on that crazy swarm. This month saw two earthquakes strike under the edifice and one small microquake to the southwest near the epicenter of the July swarming. The largest event of December 2019 for Mount Hood was a 2.4 actually at 1.9 kilometers in depth on December 9th. It struck directly under Mount Hood, and this earthquake was the largest one to strike Mount Hood since the 2.8 on October 10th, 2017. Not even the largest swarm in this area, which occurred on July 2019, had an earthquake this large. Regardless, Mount Hood remains in background levels, but we should monitor it very closely. Now, Mount Shasta. Seismicity has continued to decline dramatically since one of the largest swarms in decades struck Mount Shasta in September 2019. Only two earthquakes were located for Shasta during the month of December, and they both were about 7 miles north of the summit. The largest was a 0.8 at 1.3 kilometers in depth on December 2nd, 2019, and you can see the earthquake right here. Last but not least is Lassen Volcanic Center in California. LVC, Lassen Volcanic Center, was very calm this month as well, with only 11 earthquakes being located for December 2019, the largest of which was 1.7 at 5.9 kilometers in depth on December 5th, 2019, and struck about 10 miles east of Lassen Peak. And here are the plots. Alright, so that's it for my monthly update. If you want to see more information about some of the previous swarms, just go to my monthly update here. The link is going to be in the description box below. Now let's take a look at the seismic stream I recorded earlier of the first Steamboat Geyser eruption of 2020. Again, it's the first Steamboat Geyser eruption of 2020, and the following stream is the seismogram and spectrogram streams from stations YNM and YNR, which reside in Norris, and they're the two closest stations to Steamboat Geyser. Please visit my Steamboat 2020 page, which there is a link in the description box below, for additional information and plots of this eruption. This following stream has no audio and is sped up 26 times the original speed. The times in the bottom left and bottom right corners are in UTC. Well, that's about it for right now, guys. God bless, and I hope you have a great day. Here's the steamboat eruption that just happened, the first of 2020.